Solomon Schechter was a Moldavian-born Romanian rabbi, academic scholar, and educator, most famous for his roles as founder and president of the United Synagogue of America, president of the Jewish Theological Seminary of America, and architect of the American conservative Jewish movement. Early life. He was born in Folkzani, Moldavia to a Jewish Romanian family adhering to the Chabad Hasidic branch and was named after its founder, Schner Zalman of Liedi. Schechter received his early education from his father who was a Shoshe. Reportedly, he learned to read Hebrew by age three, and by five mastered Shumish. He went to a yeshiva in Piatra Neamt at age 10 and at age 13 studied with one of the major Talmudist scholars, Rabbi Joseph Saul Nathanson of Lemberg. In his 20s, he went to the rabbinical college in Vienna, where he studied under the more modern Talmudist scholar Mir Friedman. Before moving on in 1879 to undertake further studies at the Berlin Hochschule für die Wissenschaft des Judentums and at the University of Berlin. In 1882, he was invited to Britain to be tutor of rabbinics under Claude Montefiore in London. Academic career. In 1890, after the death of Solomon Marcus Schilazina C., he was appointed to the faculty at Cambridge University serving as a lecturer in Talmudics and reader in Rabbinics. To this day, the students of the Cambridge University Jewish Society hold an annual Solomon Schechter Memorial Lecture. His greatest academic fame came from his excavation in 1896 of the papers of the Cairo Genizer, an extraordinary collection of over 100,000 pages of rare Hebrew religious manuscripts and medieval Jewish texts that were preserved at an Egyptian synagogue. The find revolutionized the study of medieval Judaism. Jacob Safir was the first Jewish researcher to recognize the significance of the Cairo Genizer, as well as the first to publicize the existence of the Midrash Hargadol. Schechter was alerted to the existence of the Genizer's papers in May 1896 by two Scottish sisters, Mrs. Lewis and Mrs. Gibson, who showed him some leaves from the Genizer that contained the Hebrew text of Siraj, which had for centuries only been known in Greek and Latin translation. Letters, written at Schechter's prompting, by Agnes Smith to the Athenaeum and the Academy quickly revealed the existence of another nine leaves of the same manuscript in the possession of Archibald Sace at Oxford University. Schechter quickly found support for another expedition to the Cairo Genizer, and arrived there in December 1896 with an introduction from the chief rabbi, Hermann Adler, to the chief rabbi of Cairo, Aaron Raphael ben Shimon. He carefully selected for the Cambridge University Library a trove three times the size of any other collection. This is now part of the Taylor Schechter collection. The find was instrumental in Schechter resolving a dispute with David Margoliath as to the likely Hebrew language origins of Siraj. Charles Taylor took a great interest in Solomon Schechter's work in Cairo, and the genies of fragments presented to the University of Cambridge are known as the Taylor Schechter Collection. He was joint editor with Schechter of the Wisdom of Ben Sira, 1899. He published separately Cairo Genies of Palimpsests, 1900. He became a professor of Hebrew at University College London in 1899 and remained until 1902 when he moved to the United States and was replaced by Israel Abrahams. American Jewish community. In 1902, traditional Jews reacting against the progress of the American Reform Judaism movement, which was trying to establish an authoritative synod of American rabbis, recruited Schechter to become president of the Jewish Theological Seminary of America. Schechter served as the second president of the JTSA from 1902 to 1915, during which time he founded the United Synagogue of America, later renamed as the United Synagogue of Conservative Judaism, Religious and Cultural Beliefs.
Schechter emphasized the centrality of Jewish law in Jewish life in a speech in his inaugural address as president of the JTSA in 1902. Judaism is not a religion which does not oppose itself to anything in particular. Judaism is opposed to any number of things and says distinctly, Thou shalt not, it permeates the whole of your life. It demands control over all of your actions, and interferes even with your menu. It sanctifies the seasons, and regulates your history, both in the past and in the future. Above all, it teaches that disobedience is the strength of sin. It insists upon the observance of both the spirit and of the letter. Spirit without letter belongs to the species known to the mystics as nude souls, nishme shamataline, wandering about in the universe without balance and without consistency. In a word, Judaism is absolutely incompatible with the abandonment of the Torah, Shekhtar, on the other hand believed in what he termed Catholic Israel, the basic idea being that Jewish law, halacha, is formed and evolves based on the behavior of the people. This concept of modifying the law based on national consensus is an untraditional viewpoint. Schechter was an early advocate of Zionism. He was the chairman of the committee that edited the Jewish publication Society of America version of the Hebrew Bible, Legacy. Schechter's name is synonymous with the findings of the Cairo Genizer. He placed the JTSA on an institutional footing strong enough to endure for over a century. He became identified as the foremost personality of conservative Judaism and is regarded as its founder. A network of conservative Jewish day schools is named in his honor, as well as a summer camp in Olympia, Washington. There are several dozen Solomon Schechter day schools across the United States and Canada. Bibliography Schechter, Solomon Studies in Judaism, 3 vols, London, A and C, Black, 1896-1924, Schechter, Solomon Some Aspects of Rabbinic Theology London, A and C, Black.